It is coming up on 20 minutes past seven and we are looking outside live in downtown Charlottesville. We're still about a half hour away from sunrise and we are seeing gray gloomy skies over the next couple of hours. Once the sun comes up, not much of a Sunday sunrise. This is the live view from East Market Street in downtown Seaville where we are seeing dry conditions. The wind is calm, but rain chances are going to increase over the next couple of days. Let's take a look at the sunshine we had yesterday. Hopefully you got a chance to enjoy the dry weather thanks to an Etchison and at the top of Afton above the lifting fog we had yesterday morning with lots of sunshine and blue skies. Today will be the complete opposite. Lots of gray gloomy skies ahead with additional rainfall. That is the next big thing I'm tracking here in the weather center. It looks like over the next 24 hours, the remnants the, or the ghost, if you will, of Helene is going to head eastbound, giving us increasing chances for rain and some of that rain will be heavy enough to produce some localized flash flooding in that first forecast on the Sunday. Not much in the way of a flood risk today, though, because the rain chances are mostly light. And then by especially late morning, midday, afternoon into the evening, rain chances do begin to increase. Yesterday we hit the lower 80s. Today it's more like the low and mid 70s. Here's where it's raining right now. 29 first alert Doppler isn't showing much at all. We're seeing some mist, a little drizzle out here into Culpeper, Orange, Louisa, Fluvanna. A couple of raindrops trying to develop over Charlottesville, Albemarle County with that southerly wind flow bumping up against the higher terrain of the Blue Ridge Mountains. There's that center of circulation. That was the eye of what was Helene over near Bowling Green and Nashville. This is going to begin to head off to the east and at the same time the winds are going to come back out of the south and southeast at the surface and that's going to enhance our rain chances and especially over the Blue Ridge Mountains. That's the best chance to see some of the heavier rainfall amounts. High res with a tracker between now and 5 p.m. a scattered shower. After sunset, the rain chances really begin to blossom. Here's late tonight, pre-dawn, and it's looking like closer to the Blue Ridge. That's where we're going to see the heavier batches of rain. 8 a.m. Monday, going back to work and school. Well, you'll need your umbrella and the poncho, no doubt about it. Rainy conditions Monday afternoon, Monday night. Rain showers may linger on Tuesday and Tuesday night before we finally begin to break out of this pattern by Wednesday. Some of you, especially near the Blue Ridge Mountains, may get in excess of three or four inches of rain between now and Tuesday afternoon. And that could certainly cause some high water issues, but basically variable rainfall amounts in anywhere from a half inch to possibly up to four inches. That's why the Weather Prediction Center has us in a level two out of four when it comes to excessive rain and local high water. And then by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, our weather pattern does begin to dry out with highs and more seasonable in the 70s and lows in the comfortably cool 50s. In your 29 first alert forecast today, showers developing, cloudy skies, mild and humid, highs in the 70s, low and mid 70s mostly overnight showers developing could be heavy at times lows in the 60s some patchy fog a local high water risk tonight into tomorrow with highs mostly in the 60s on Monday seven day forecast lingering showers on Tuesday in the 60s a drying trend Wednesday Thursday Friday and the start of next weekend 70s by day and comfortably cool 50s overnight destiny